Okay, my family, there are many things going on in this world right now. And many things are being predicted for our future. We hear of rumors of war. We have earthquakes and volcanoes going off in diverse places. And many acts of terrorism throughout our world. But our Father who art in heaven does not want us to live in fear. He wants us to go about our business and to live in faith. All the anxiety that you have, all the worry that you have, all of your struggles, God is greater than them all. He gives us the power to live courageously and fearlessly in our lives. When situations and things around us tell us that we should be afraid, His truth whispers to the deepest core of our spirit, do not fear. Replace those fearful thoughts with His words of truth and sleep in peace tonight. He knows what concerns you, and he's got you covered. Psalm 91 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all ways, because he loves you, says the Lord. I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him in that day. Zephaniah 3 and 7, 3 and 17. The Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exult over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. Romans 8, 3, 8, and 3, 9. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. This is written in Mark 5, 3, and 6. Mark 5, 36. Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. In Revelation 1 and 17, he placed his right hand on me and said, do not be afraid, I am the first and the last. Deuteronomy 3 and 22, do not be afraid of them, the Lord your God himself will fight for you. Psalm 34 and 4, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me, he freed me from all my fears. Psalm 34 and 7, The angel of the Lord encampeth around those who fear him, and he delivers them. 1 Peter 3 and 14, But even if you suffer for doing what is right, God will reward you for it. So don't worry or be afraid of their threats. Mark 4, 3, 9 and 40, He got up and rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Psalms 118, 6 and 7 The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? 
The Lord is with me. He is my helper. Psalm 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength, and ever present help in trouble. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Isaiah 41, 13 and 14. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Mark 6 and 50. I had immediately spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Psalm 55 and 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Psalm 27 and 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Luke 12 and 22 through 26, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or bond, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than the birds. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Isaiah 35 and 4. Tell everyone who is discouraged, be strong and don't be afraid. God is coming to your rescue. 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7. Humble yourselves then under God's mighty hand, so he will lift you up in his own good time. Leave all your worries with him because he cares for you. Remember, my family, he has raised us for a time such as this. Everything that we've had to endure throughout our entire lives has been strengthening us for the times that are to come so that in that day we might stand. There is a harvest coming and there are too few workers. We must pray for more workers in the harvest. Matthew 6 and 34, therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Joshua 1 and 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Psalm 23 and 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Isaiah 43 and 1. But now, this is what the Lord says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name, and you are mine. Psalm 94 and 19. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought joy to my soul. 1 John 4 and 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. 2 Timothy 1 and 7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. John 14 and 27, Peace is what I leave you with. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. Psalms 56 and 3, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus.
Isaiah 41 and 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. My family. I am not sure when he is coming for us. But one thing I have faith and I am totally sure of is that he is coming for us. And until then, we must be about our Father's business. Let him find us working the fields when he comes for us. Let him find us using our talents that he has given us, our God-given talents, to bring more to his kingdom, to bring more of the lost in. I believe we are going to see some things but I believe, also believe we will not be alone. He will be there with us. He has shown me this because I used to think in fear. And I got down on my hands and knees and I prayed to the Lord and I said, Lord, I do not wish for my family to go through these things that are coming upon the, coming upon the world. And he showed me, my family and my myself, we're on a boat on Lake Mead. I live in Las Vegas. And we saw a dark storm coming with thunder and lightning. And it was lightly, started to lightly rain. And our little boat started to take on water. And we used whatever we had in the boat, little bowls or cups, to empty the boat, the water from the boat. And just as we were starting to see the rain get harder and the big clouds come towards us, we saw a rock up in the distance and we made our way for that rock. And when we came around the other side of that rock, we saw an opening in the rock and we tethered our boat to the rock and we crawled from the boat into the rock. And in that little small cave that was in the rock, we found shelter and we immediately fell upon our knees and gave thanks to God in heaven for this shelter in the storm. And when we did this, it was like a movie scene and it panned out and it showed that the rock that we had climbed into was two cupped hands, the hands of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He will be with us in whatever storm comes. He will be with us no matter what comes. His will be the name that we call out to. Jesus Christ, my King and Savior, protect me and my family during these times. Strengthen us. Give us your peace which knows no understanding. If there's one thing that I want to get through to each and every one of you, focus on him. Focus on Jesus Christ. And trust in no man and in no woman, but put your full faith and trust in him. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of our praise. Glory to our risen King and Savior. I pray his blood covering around each and every one of you. I pray his hedge of protection around your homes and your family, around your vehicles and your pets, around your places of work and worship, around your children, their schools and their activities. I pray that he places the same hedge of protection that he did around Job and his family, around you and yours. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name, we pray to the Father who art in heaven in the name of our, the Son, 
his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to our risen King. Amen and amen.